What will be the impact if the Amur tiger disappears? Let's start from the beginning. There are about 147 million people in Russia and not more than 580 Amur tigers in the wildlife. This means only one tiger per 272,000 Russians. It's frightfully few. Here's why. The Amur tiger is the indicator in the south of the Russian Far East ecosystem's well-being. What does it mean? Let's have a look. If tigers live in taiga, it means that there are enough hoofed animals there. The tiger eats as much as it needs for its survival, and there's enough time to recover the numbers of hoofed animals. If there are no tigers in the forest, it means that there is something wrong with the ecosystem. Most often, the reason is the poacher. His victim is not only the tiger, but also the hoofed animals, the main prey of the predator. In the forest, the natural habitats of the tiger and the hoofed animals also suffers. When the ecosystem is harmed, it becomes uninhabitable for the tiger. Lack of food makes the tiger approach people. This causes conflicts. Such conflicts are until was resolved in the tiger's favor. Only a few years ago, tiger's survival was threatened. They were listed as an endangered species and introduced in the Red Data Book. In 2010, and more tigers with their brethren from other countries became the focus of close attention of those who care about the future of our planet. In 2013, on the initiative of Vladimir Putin, the Russian Geographic Society established the Amur Tiger Center, a non-profit organization which integrates the efforts of all people who ensure a future for the Amur Tiger. The center is founded by sponsors and individual donations. Each person can contribute to the unique animal's future. Our main goal is to create and save the balance in the use of forest resources in order to let the tiger live in safety and allow man to take from the forest as much as he really needs for his life. Our work consists of four important activities. We protect, we create it, and are developing a chain of conservational stations to study and protect the Amur tiger. We provide hunting supervisors with equipment, work clothes, outfits, and tools against poachers. We created a reserve feeding stock to maintain the number of hoofed animals, the tiger's main food, and to prevent their mass mortality in case of natural disasters. We support national parks and conservation areas. We help representatives of native minorities in areas of the tiger's natural range because we highly appreciate those who protect the predator and live in harmony with it. We help save, treat, and rehabilitate these unique predators. All tigers in rehab centers are fully under the care of our center. We study, we organize research work to help tigers in the most effective way. The specialists of the Clinical Diagnostic Center, developed with the support of the Amor Tiger Center, provide their expertise as part of criminal investigations to punish offenders under the law. Scientific conferences help find new ways of constructive solutions to conflict between tigers and people. We built relationships between people and tigers. We successfully developed the system for preventing conflicts between tigers and people. Each year, special teams solve at least 20 conflicts. The damage caused to farm and domestic animals is covered by a special insurance program. We teach and educate people. Once a year, the whole country celebrates the Tiger Day, one of the most important ecological holidays. More than 170 students from 15 cities of Russia have taken part in the Tiger Brigade. In five years, they have improved 40 kilometers of paths in conservation areas. The number of tourists has increased sixfold over this period. 17,000 children from all over Russia annually participate in workshops organized by the Amor Tiger Center and All Russian Center Ocean. The best film directors make documents documentaries and fictional films about the life of tigers. Thanks to the affiliated program with the House Bank, more Russians have the opportunity to help the Amur tiger by simply paying by card. Amur tigers fly in the sky, walk in the subway, and appear in magazines. In five years, the number of Amur tigers in Russia has increased at least by 15% and reached 550 to 580 individuals. But it's still not enough. Tigers aren't threatened with extinction anymore. But for a normal life, their population must be as genetically diverse as possible. We are doing everything to increase the number of Amur tigers to 700 individuals by 2022. We work on it every day. Each of us dreams about the country where animals in need are helped even if they are stronger than us. That's why the work doesn't stop even for a minute. Saving tigers in the wild, we save humanity in ourselves. Let's protect the heritage of our planet together.